Stereo Designer is a flexible tool for both creative and corrective stereo image manipulation. In this tutorial, I'll be doing a general overview of the app's functions with brief examples. Subscribe to this channel for follow-up tutorials that will cover some features in greater detail. Stereo Designer lets you process sound from audio bus, interapp audio, USB audio interfaces, and more. As Stereo Designer is an effect processor, it does not produce sound on its own. There are two main control modes in Stereo Designer, Perform and Tweak. Perform mode has four XY control pads, while Tweak has 12 sliders. The interface is divided into two halves, with controls for the left channel on the left side of the screen, and controls for the right channel on the right side of the screen. In Perform mode, moving your finger in the top XY pad controls left channel delay time and low pass frequency. The lower XY pad controls output gain and panning position. The right side of the interface works in the same manner, controlling the right channel parameters. Tapping the button at the top center of the interface switches between perform and tweak mode. Tap the save button twice to save the current settings as a new preset. Below the save button is the presets list. This can be scrolled up and down and tapped to select a preset. You can also delete a preset by swiping to the left and choosing delete. Or share a preset by doing a long press on the preset you'd like to share and choosing an option. Below the presets list there are three buttons. The link button allows you to link both channel parameters, so that controlling the left channel also controls the matching parameter for right channel, and vice versa. Bypass button bypasses stereo designer's effects, allowing you to hear the dry, unprocessed signal. The mute button mutes audio input and is a momentary switch. When held down, audio input is muted. When a finger is lifted off, the audio is unmuted. This allows for rhythmic audio cuts to be performed. In tweak mode, you have additional parameters to adjust per channel, including input gain, delay, pan, high pass, low pass, and output gain. Input gain controls the incoming sound source level. Delay is used to create an offset between the left and right channels, which is useful for doubling and stereo widening effects. Pan controls the channel's panning position. You can pan each channel independently, so you can manipulate the original stereo placement quite drastically. High pass and low pass filters per channel allow you to quickly shape the channel's tone independent from the other, another simple and quick way to achieve stereo separation. Output gain controls the outgoing gain. When you see the labeling turn red, the signal is clipping, so you can lower the volume a bit until it stops clipping. In the top left corner of the screen there are two options for input and mode. Input allows you to choose between stereo input 1 and 2, mono input 1, or mono input 2. These correspond to the channels coming from your audio interface or the left and right channels from the input source such as audio bus. The mode button gives you options for normal stereo operation, inverted left or right channel, and mid-side processing. In mid-side processing mode, you can control the center audio information separately from the sides, allowing for powerful control of the sound. When in mid-side mode, the left side of the screen controls the mid-signal parameters, and the right side of the screen controls the side signal parameters. Here I'm going to raise the volume of the side signal, then lower the volume of the mid-signal. You can also apply filtering and panning for even more control of mid-side signals. Be sure to check out my other apps EchoPad and Swoopster. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and iOS audio tips.